Welcome to another video, I hope you're doing all great, thanks for my latest subscriber syndrome, welcome to the hood brother and please now make sure to hit that like button, smash this subscriber button and turn on post notification to get notified for every new video and now let's get started with today's video. So it has been a while since I was posting my latest video, a dip is going on in the Hex ecosystem I think or I hope you're not scared too much. I was quite busy, also established a nice homeless look so it's all good when a bear market is going on you just look like a hobo so before we continue with the video let me change this real quick much better now before we go on let me check quickly the price price is looking good again and before we start with the usual video i just have to get rid of some stuff about the recent nomics drama so if you just use my videos because your kids sleep faster and better please bring me out of their room and we can start because today there will be no ads there will be no monetization and probably gonna not use the nicest words you maybe saw it in the last couple days on twitter i was even banned for a couple days i should be back now so I had my quarantine, my timeout on Twitter just because I went to war against Clay from Nomics and what happened is really, really bullshit. Of course, you can argument that market cap is not a real number and I agree with that price is what matters but we really thought we had a friend he even came to our community we invited him he came to our streams he explained he learned about hex we wasted even resources to educate this motherfucker and now all he's done is just adjusting hex circulating supply no worries i don't gonna hurt you with this bullshit article where you can see and write line by line why he's doing what and of course he can do the fuck whatever he wants to do but it is just not right if you're gonna have a side where you're gonna rank some coins transparently you should adjust all the supplies of all the coins because most of the coins are held centralized 90% or plus of the tokens by the founders and now just with a little calculation a weird reduction of this total supply of hex we went below top 10 we even went to top 20 I think and then after a while this stupid motherfucker just agreed with the hex community about adding locked and burn supply back into circulation we're discussing a solution internally thanks for the endpoint yeah he even received a nice endpoint because this endpoint for the api requests are there since the beginning nice that you found out after two years that there is a reliable apy outside to get the right numbers but so far what i want to point out is here you just can negotiate you can talk with them and they just adjust the circulating supply they adjust the total supply so there's really random shit going on nothing is really clear what they're doing of course they can do what they want it's their site but you should not come to our community ask for help and really waste useful hours and then on the third tweet he just okay in an hour locked supply will be added this should place hex market cap at around 13 so what you are really like this and then you just even ban me just because i say go and eat the fucking dick they made up numbers and if you go to the market cap sites you can see this now if we scroll down a little bit there's a little bloodbath going on hex is now at position 9 with a total market cap of 40 billion us dollars if we're gonna click on it we should also find the total circulating supply and this is just a made-up number 137 billion hex tokens are circulating so what's that about if you're gonna read back and please don't read the article it's just full of shit if you're going to read back the article he says that the oa address is a dormant wallet so get back to school motherfucker and hit the books boy because the oa is not a dormant wallet the oa is a fucking alive wallet the oa is protecting the ecosystem of hex the oa sacrificed coins on the sacrifice phase for pulse chain so it clearly moves coins the oa address is staking coins just to maintain the current apy so everybody who is staked has a nice decent payout so you can see the oa address definitely not a dormant wallet and if we go back we can see it's just a random number with 137 billion tokens if we go on coin market crap it's really funny that you have to go on page three and then now we get even surpassed by ethereum x etx what the fuck this is ever is for fifty thousand us dollars it's up quite a lot but you can see hex is normally at position 201 since the beginning class action suit incoming from the 
community to CoinMarketCap and Binance. Get ready for this. So currently they positioned us on position 202 with the current price of 31 cents, which is not correct. We have a market cap and we have also circulating supply. So here they calculate 173 billion hex tokens, which is totally wrong. And if you go on over to Coin Paprika, we can see if we scroll down a little bit here, at least we are at position four. Nobody's using Coin Paprika anyway. They have no traffic at all and probably nothing else going on. But at least I think they get the price right. If we're going to click on it, we can see if they get the circulating supply as well, right? If we scroll down a little bit, you should find information down here. So you can see the total supply. I don't fucking get it because if you just go on your hex wallet, all you need to see is the total circulating supply is here, 572 billion hex tokens. The same you could also see if you go on Etherscan, but for this you need to move a little bit. If you go on Etherscan, you can see the max total supply for the moment is 572 billion hex tokens. You have a fully diluted market cap, which means price multiplied by total supply, which gives you a total fully diluted market cap of 181 billion US dollars, you can see everything is really, really easy. So nevertheless, this has some impact on the behavior of the hexagons in the future, I guess. If you like ranking sites, and we're going to have a look from time to time at some ranking sites. But for me, I clearly learned from my mistakes, never going to trust a so-called friend in the hex community again. Nomix is dead for this platform. And I wish you good luck with your traffic. Just for the last point, maybe just think about why they're doing this because maybe they get bought maybe some bigger player came in and want to buy their sites and of course you cannot work this with a hex product which nobody knows about and all of a sudden is ranked in the top three so even with my little rant if it was not clear at all Fuck you, Cly. Nothing to do with you anymore. I wish you great fun. And by the end, everybody receives his rating. If you check the Play Store from Google, you can see the rating is just 1.1. Doesn't look so good for an app rating. The same goes for the Apple Store. If you see there, there's a 1.7 rating. If you scroll down a little bit, you have clearly failed to produce some apps. Have fun with your websites. So now let's jump over to some more positive stats. The rant is over. The happy dog is back. You can see on Hex Info that we are still in the greens. If you check this number down here, Roy from the all time low to the all time high, we are up 904,000%. This is all good. Compared to the dollar, we are up now from the all time low 4,861x. Compared to Bitcoin from the all time low, we are up 568x. And compared to Ethereum, we are up 143x. Doesn't matter which ranking we have, doesn't matter which position we have, the stats are pretty damn green. Even with the recent the stats are pretty green. And if we hop quickly over to the chart, we can see in the last two hours, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see we have a nice decent pump. I think the Godwell could be back. He bought a little bit of hex just to pump the price again in the top 10. Who knows? And as well, I think he donated 100 Ethereum to the Hex documentary. So this movie is well on his way and is well founded and some more cash went in. So more things are possible. In my last video, which is already a few days or even weeks ago, I was pretty damn sure we can just gonna consolidate sideways a little bit and then gonna move up. But of course, crypto is always ready for a nice drop. If we're gonna measure this drop real quick, we can see we had a correction of 70 four percent in 51 days this is pretty amazing there was some heavy heavy profit taking going on i guess some people could not handle the massive gains around 40 50 cents and once we found the bottom maybe the bottom is in we never know we already have a nice decent pump which goes up and maybe there will be another correction we could go 85 percent even 86 87 percent which brings us back to the level of six cents i would be also really really good with this because every dip in the history so far was a wonderful buying opportunity and please really please tell me where this chart it hurt you i would really like to know even with this recent correction whether the community was crying fighting everything was going wrong in the recent days so sometimes it's good to have a little break and after that we can see once we found the bottom of course hex is going again up and to the right and don't you think that if we're just not doing videos we are just chilling on the couch. We're doing some work in the background. Some stuff is getting prepared for the upcoming days and weeks. And I think there's also a London meetup in 
the beginning of December, if I'm not wrong. So let me just move on and give you a little bit more positive stats. For example, if we go to Etherscan, we can see that HEX is amount the ERC20 token still on position three. The price is not really, really right here, but at least you have a nice position if you need a ranking. So let me move quickly to hex.vision. Where I look back 180 days in the staking history, you could see when price went up, the staking action was quite massive. After that, price went down. Also less stakes flowed into the system, which is totally wrong because when the price is going down, you should lock in your stakes. Of course, one t-shirt is always the same price in hex, but in fiat value, you would get a little bit more shares. Overall, this is not so positive because it seems that people still don't understand how hex works. If price goes down, stakes should not go down, but it's apparently what's happening. But you will learn over time and you will just consolidate all your hex you have and stake longer than the average staking length. So let me get you some positive numbers. Totally current addresses which are holding hex are now 385,000, addresses. And if we're going to have a little look on Etherscan real quick, you can see the holders are up now 0.108%. Overall, this line is going up. We have more and more holders. And if you're curious how many holders just came on top, since I've done my last video around 50 days or so, we have now 61,942 addresses more in the ecosystem, which is quite amazing. People just see the red numbers, people just see the stats, or maybe the sell going on right here on the chart. But if you have a qu closer look at the stats, you can see, hey, numbers are actually going up. Same goes for the stake wrap. We just surpassed 70,000 stakers on the stake wrap, which is wonderful. This is five stakes per user and you should really get your stake wrap today with staker.hodl.doc. You get a nice app which you can do everything secure, fast and your transaction will just go through. And for the last part, let's check quickly the wallet, my staking wallet, what's going on in here. We still have a stake running, I think, well, yeah, one day and five hours, then my 2066 hex should come out around 500 bucks. I will be able to end stake them as well. And once they're out, I'm going to restake them because I think Pulse Chain could be around the corner. If you go quickly have a look on GitLab, you can see some days ago we had some updates for the Block Explorer. We had for the repository of the Go Pulse Chain, the faucet and as well the Pulse Testnet. Um, just be aware that at the moment people are having a lot of rumors about the upcoming mainnet launch which should be around the corner instantly. For now, this is the testnet release 1. They announced the testnet release 2. So just be aware the testnet release 2 should be out first. It needs some more testing to be done. And after that, maybe a mainnet release would be appropriate. If you also scroll down a little bit, you can see we still have blocks produced, not every 3-4 seconds, around 4.5-5 seconds. Most of the transactions are empty. Don't get confused. People can also run a private testnet just to test their smart contracts just before they're going to hit the public test net and once they hit it, the public test net they can hit then later the main net so if you see no transactions in these blocks that's not a bad sign you can see for example we had the latest transaction 50 60 seconds ago and as well don't get confused if you see some swap tokens or whatever if you see already your hex on your metamask wallet on the test net because it's a full system state copy which is moved over to the pulse chain you have all the tokens from a certain block on once the mainnet will go live, it will have the full system state from the Genesis block. That means from the block zero. So all the tokens will be there as well. They will add the sacrifice set. So the blockchain knows which Ethereum address is sacrificed, how many Ethereum, Hex or whatever token, but in the end you will receive your Pulse tokens once the mainnet is out and this should be maybe in 60 to 90 days. I would say still at least four weeks as usual. And with that, we are already by the end of this video for today. If you found any value in it, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel. This would be really appreciated. Never forget, stay long and fat, stay safe out there and see you in the next one. Peace.